Okay, so you are watching your finances very, very carefully, very closely. You've got the uh, closet card over here, which is putting aside money, trying to save some uh, finances. So in the past, money has been going out quite a bit, but right now you've closed the doors to your spending, so it seems like you're getting on top of uh, your money. You're trying to manage it. So you have been pay faced with uh, some difficult circumstances. Uh, you've got the clouds card over here, which is talking about having uh, some problems that you are dealing with at the moment. Uh, and it might be you dealing with a difficult person because you've got the bear over here. So this is an overbearing person, somebody who's a bit dominating, a bit domineering. Uh, maybe somebody higher up that you're working for uh, who is giving you a little bit of grief over there, hence the, the clouds card. So in the past, you've got the clove over here. So your luck has been changing. Something uh, has come in for you, uh, maybe a little bit of money, a little bit of a payoff. Uh, that has, uh, you know, been a welcome relief. And all the problems that you have been dealing with are now starting to fade. They're starting to die away with the flame card. So you are now establishing yourself and establishing um, uh, your uh, strong foundations as far as your work goes. You've got the anchor over here. So you're being very grounded, being very stable. And with the chi card, it looks like there has been progress and there has been, uh, you know, you're getting there. Uh, things are starting to blossom for you and they are starting to grow for you. Uh, you know, even if it's slow, uh, even though the growth is slow, you are starting to reach stability right now. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the dragon, uh, Celtic dragon tarot, and I have put that in the description box to so have a look. I'm going to use that for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Swords over here. So you are leaving behind very difficult uh, problems and circumstances, and you are now moving towards your goal. You have set a goal. It's a very stable goal. Um, you know, you're very ambitious. You are going to get over there. And there looks like there are people that are around you that are there to support you, uh, you know, maybe a very protective group of people that you're with and allowing you to move forward. You can see the path is not so clear, but it is open. There's no obstacles within your way, and you will finally get over there. You can now uh, almost see the light at the end of the tunnel. So what's happening with you? You've got the Five of Pentacles and Justice. So you were dealing with some kind of legal situation over here. Uh, you, there was, seems to be a breakup that you went through. This could be a, a personal breakup. Uh, but this could also, uh, which has affected your money. So there was a lot of loss uh, that happened because of this breakup. So you may have parted company with, an, with a company. So you may have uh, left an old job. Uh, that left uh, to some uh, problems financially. Uh, maybe you didn't get along with the people that you were uh, working with. Uh, there was a lot of problems, a lot of drama. You can see he's walking away from those dragons. So, you know, you dealt with a lot of uh, problems. There might have been legal issues that you were dealing with as well. And that seems to have put a pressure on your finances and has caused some sort of financial drain, some sort of financial loss as well. But now you're moving away from that. So there was some judgment uh, that happened, some kind of legal decision was made as well. And that did lead to some financial loss. Uh, in the past, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So whatever work you've been doing, you've been learning a lot on that job, uh, almost uh, apprentice-like uh, job that you're doing. So learning as you're working and becoming very, very good at it. You might be even reaching a status of being a teacher as well. So you're giving out uh, a lot of information and you have been learning a lot as well on that particular job. You might be training other people. You've got the Eight of Wands over here, so things starting to move for you, uh, you know, projects starting to take off, and maybe you're also doing a lot of travel, and you've been starting to, to do that in the last few months. Now, you've got the Tower card over here on your mind, so something really, you know, whatever happened over here in this Five of Pentacles was a crisis for you, a financial crisis, and it caused a lot of loss, a lot of destruction. Uh, you know, you could have even lost your home as well with this tower card. But that is now in the past. You are still thinking about it. You've been traumatized by it, but you are now moving away. You are recovering from that particular circumstance. So going into the future, you've got the Four of Swords over here, very stressed out about whatever happened. You're still crying over whatever happened in the past because you've got those swords lying in front of you, but you are exhausted because you have faced so much of difficulties and you do need a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a break, uh, um, and a time for you to recuperate or to get better, recover from um, your losses that you went through. 
So what's happening with you? You've got the judgment card. You can see this person also, uh, you know, you might have had some stress-related illness that has come up because of what you went through. And this is now time for you to um, uh, take time out, recover, and also choose something different, something where you are, uh, um, you know, it is more, uh, it's more beneficial to your health. So it is a time for you to do, uh, to place um, emphasis on your health, watch your health, make sure that you are doing everything uh, that is less stressful so that you can, um, you know, recover from whatever you went through um, and also that it doesn't have any ill effects on your health as well. So you are going through a period of recovery or healing at the moment. You've got the world card of here. So that cycle has now come to an end. Uh, maybe it was an old job that caused a lot of problems. It seems like you've let that go and you are moving on. You're going to start a brand new cycle this also could mean that you might be traveling as well uh, related to your work uh, and meeting a lot of people on, on the international front as well with this world card so an old cycle coming to an end and something brand new will begin uh, after this you've got the three of swords over here you are getting over that that situation it caused a lot of heartbreak there might have been a breakdown of communication it looks like there may have been three people around you that have caused all these problems and you're still very very worried or afraid that it will recur Whatever happened, you're worried that it hasn't gone away yet. So you've got the Ten of Wands over here, the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. The Ten of Wands, that difficult circumstance is now coming to an end. It seems like you were working very hard um, and you were under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress and carrying a lot of responsibilities and having to work long hours, um, you know, and take responsibility for a lot of things and working under pressure as well. With the Ten of Wands, it is now coming to an end. That cycle is now finished. And it seems like, you know, you're getting there to the, you've reached the top rather. So whatever you're, you might be coming to a promotion, you had to work very hard to get that promotion. Because you can see this person climbing up this uh, cliff face over here to get to that particular position and having to de dealt with difficult bosses. But now you're going to reach the top of that um, position and you're going to be you know, a person of leadership, somebody who takes control, some kind of management role, but also a kind of a teacher, a mentor, somebody who is very focused on their work. And you're going to be, you know, whatever you're doing deals with a lot of information. Uh, maybe you're going to be doing a much more relaxed job where you do a lot more research rather than more hands on, uh, but giving a lot of advice to people. And you're very much on top of it as well. Uh, and you've been spending a lot of time as well. Um, you can see you've got the hermit, very focused on that work, very focused on learning, very focused on finding out the truth or taking charge. So the hermit card is ruled by Virgo and it shows, uh, you know, spending a lot, a lot of time being an expert at what you want, uh, what you're doing and, uh, you know, where somebody, people come to you for advice. Uh, you know, almost like a guru who knows everything. So you're going to be dishing out that kind of advice. But you can see there's a lot of struggle that you went through, a lot of lo rocks to climb, uh, you know, um, and you had to spend a lot of time focused um, on that particular work, long hours, uh, long days. Um, so you are getting to that position where you are now achieving and you have now manifested uh, what you wanted. Um, but it didn't come without a struggle. You know, you had to really work hard for it. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot, and this is for advice. So the first card is the Ace of Spring, which says it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So all of this hard work is now leading to... Uh, a new opportunity coming for you, a new venture coming in for you. And it looks like it's going to be very prosperous and produce a lot of abundance. You've got the Emperor card over here, which says use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So you are taking on a leadership role over here in charge of many people, many things, and more in an organization capacity, it seems, uh, where you're um, able to add structure to whatever you're working at. Then you've got the Prince of Summer over here who says falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, a need to stay grounded during an emotional experience. Now this is talking about a new uh, offer coming in. So uh, maybe on top of this um, position of leadership, it looks like there's some kind of offer coming in. The Prince of Summer is uh, like the Prince of Cups, somebody bringing something that is very, very important or something that you really were looking forward to. This could also be social invitations that come out to you. Maybe there's an invitation to travel, to take your knowledge and spread it across the world like this dandelion is going you know it's spreading all these dandelion seeds so something that you're going to be doing it's in a, some kind of teacher capacity and you're going to be um, 
um, you know, sharing your information with a lot of people or even training up uh, a lot of people. And it's going to be a job that you really, really enjoy. And it might involve a lot of travel as well. So that's coming in for you. So um, I do hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.